Hello, this is the Provoke Prawn and this is Samsung's 970 Evo. This is a video to talk to you about how to install NVMe M2 SSD drives on your computer, but also to talk about the reasons why you should, the benefits, the costs, and how you can install them in multiple ways, or at least two different ways that I know of, that make it easy way to add extra memory to your system to get better performance both in gaming and general use. Now NVMe drives are tiny little drives that are the fastest SSD drives you can get. They're faster than traditional PLATA hard drives obviously but they're also faster than your standard SSD drive. They're also ridiculously easy to install and they basically just plug into your motherboard. They require no extra SATA or power cables so they're a real easy plug and play affair and I'm going to show you how to do that in a minute. This is the 970 Evo from Samsung as I said. This is a 500 gigabyte version which is about 100 pounds. You can also get a terabyte for 200 pounds and a two terabytes for 400 pounds. Now that sounds like a lot of money but once you experience how fast these drives are you'll be blown away by it and you'll realize it's worth spending the extra money on them. You can use these drives to install your OS or games and then get super fast boot times or super fast load times. Now as you can see here all you've got to do is find the M2 socket on your motherboard. You can see it's clearly marked there in the bo bottom right. And it just plugs in and then it just needs to be screwed down to the motherboard. You can find information on how many slots your motherboard has and where they are on the manufacturer's website or on your manual. This one has two. I've got one there and I've got one further down. And as you can see that's it. Now it's plugged in. All you've got to do is boot into Windows and then get Windows to recognize that drive. I'll link to a video on how to do that which is really easy. Also download the Samsung software and use that to make sure it's optimized and then you're away. Now this is another option. This is a PCIe X4 adapter. You basically plug your NVMe drive into this adapter, screw it down and that's nice and easy. Then all you've got to do is find a PCIe X4 slot on your motherboard that's spare and plug this adapter into it. It then allows you to use NVMe M2 drives even if you don't have a slot. But more importantly, if you've already used your slots up. So I have two drives already installed on my system and I want to install a third one. This is an easy way to do it. Now I did this video for demonstration purposes but you can see I've actually got an Intel Optane Memory Accelerator drive installed in that other M2 slot which I temporarily took out and put back in again. And um, I've got a video on that if you're interested in seeing what that's all about. You can see the PCIe X4 slot just slides in down there and it's nice and easy. You also see on my motherboard I've got another M2 drive hidden under that heatsink. That's where my iOS drive is. So this new drive is going to be used for games and exciting things like that. That will allow for blazing fast speeds. Now I'll add links in the description for both the Samsung Evo 970 the specs on that and also where to buy this adapter and which one to get. But this adapter is £20, so it's really easy extra thing to buy. It's just a plug and play again. It really plugs in, no extra power required. Dead easy, works really well, and allows you to add extra memory. This has been the Provoke Prawn. Hope you like this video. Thanks for watching.